All right, so we've been flowing our mobile phase through the system at various different flow rates, but now we're at one ml per minute, and we've reached a pretty stable temp, pretty stable pressure for our back pressure. And also on top of that, our detector has gotten pretty flat. Um, if we look at some of the what has happened, we can see a lot of variation, and that variation is going to be every time you change your flow rates. You can see the ramping here, and that ramping is from the UV light turning on and coming to temperature. So now, we're good there, we can go back and zoom in to where we want to see. And I like to have it just at one minute intervals, half minute intervals. And from here, we can go ahead and first we're going to open the purge valve. Again, just make sure anything that might be in is purged. Okay, purge valve is open. Switch off the pump. No more flow is happening. So now we can have our column compartment open if it is not already. If it's not open, all you have to do is open here and that'll open just fine. So from here, we can open. And now we have, this is a faux column insert. This is just a stand-in column. It doesn't actually work as a column. It does no separation. It is just a stand-in so I can flow without an actual column install. You don't want to really do a lot with your system with a column installed because unless your purge valve is open, you're going to be going through your column and you don't want to run anything through your column that isn't supposed to be running through your column. So we can go ahead and undo our inlet and outlets. We can set our faux column aside. It's nice to leave it in the unit so whenever someone changes the column, they can really easily just install it straight from there. Here's our column. It's the Poro Shell EC120, C18, and all of the different packing details are there. Notice how there is an arrow that says direction of flow. So this will be your inlet, this will be your outlet. Now from here, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set up, first identify which one is your inlet. In this LC system, inlet is always gonna be on your left-hand side, going towards the right-hand side. So if you know where your inlet is, you can connect your inlet first, set your peak caps inside of the column, oven, and then what you wanna do here is you're gonna first press this line and seat it into the column and then while continually applying pressure you're going to then also tie in and screw that peak fitting just finger tight that's it so now our inlet is connected we can undo our peak fitting that caps our outlet and same process reveal as much of that as you need fully seat it inside of the column and then you can now while applying pressure, screw in this peak connector, and again, finger tight. So now that both of these are finger tight and they're in the proper direction of flow, we just wanna make sure that these aren't gonna change how they're seated, and both of them feel nice and secure. So now you can put them in the column holder here. This is an RFID tag, so the instrument software will automatically read what column is installed, and you can even write methods that won't work unless a specific column is installed. That's more important for quality controls environments, but it is an option. So now we wanna go ahead and start our flow so we can check for leaks.